subject for today. We are taking basic tools for economic analysis. We have discussed what is economics and others. Today we are going to focus on two key areas. What is basic economic tools and what are their uses and importance? What are their uses and importance? Now, let's go to the first area, which is what is basic economic <laughs> tools? Basic economic tools, they are tools required for proper analysis of economic problem. Proper analysis of economic problems. They are often presented in statements which may be too difficult for an individual to analyze or for an individual to be able to understand. So the basic economic tools, they are used to make things easier, to simplify, to ease the understanding of a particular information. So these tools are used to analyze basic economic problems for you and I, the layman out there, or even the economists, to be able to analyze the correlation, the relationship between what you are trying to communicate out. So in our class, or in this subject, we will talk about different economic analysis. We will talk about the graph, we will talk about charts, we we'll talk about tables, we we'll talk about calculation of mean, mode, median, standard deviation in this class. So anytime you hear the word, word economic analysis, know that they are just trying to tell you that it is a tool used in analyzing economic problems to make it easier, simpler for people to understand. For example, you want to illustrate the importation level that took place over a period of five years to be able to know how it happened. If it, put, if it is put in a chart form or a graph form, you will see how it moves. Did it move on an ascending order or a descending order? What is the proportion at which they move? What is their percentage rate? We are going to see each of these rooms as we look at the mathematical representation of these charts, the graph, the mean, the median, and the mode. Just bear in mind that it is a tool used to analyze basic economic problem to make it more simpler, more easier for understanding. And so we can say that, therefore, it makes it easier for better interpretation and understanding. Better interpretation and understanding. So let's see what are their uses. Why do we have these basic economic um, tools. Remember I mentioned uh, charts, graph, tables, uh, mean, median, mode, standard deviation. Now let's see why we need them. Why do we use them? What are their importance? Now let's go to the next point. Have we known what basic economic problems, the economic tools are? Next point is the uses stroke, the importance of basic economic tools. The uses and the importance share a relationship. They have similar futures. Because why are they used? Why are they important? They are same. So if you use the uses as the importance is good. If you use the importance for the uses is equally good. I'm going to share six points here. Why we need these basic economic tools. For analysis. Number one, they help to summarize the data presented. They help to summarize the data presented. If a data is presented before you, let's say data that has to do with the population of a particular country, presenting it in a chart, in a graph, in a table, make it simpler for you to understand. Because by the time you see so 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 yeah. 1997, year 2000, year 2001, year 2002, they are presented in a tabular form and the figures are written in this same tabular form. The table has 
columns and they are numbered they have subtopic to help you understand what they are saying the moment you see this table you understand what they are saying so also it goes with graph so also it goes with charts if you see a pie chart for example which we will do as example when you see the highest uh, the one that is higher in number you know that it's going to occupy a more larger space in the pie chart so by the time you just look at this graph this chart this table it just give you an insight into what the question is saying into what statement is being presented before you so it's make it easier it helps to summarize the table presented before you or the data presented before you the next one it, it helps in comparing variables two or more variables it can be two or more helps you to compare two or more variables if you are comparing three different years or two different years tables charts and graphs gives you the correlation between these three years so it will help you to compare these variables and know which you are going for it helps you to compare these variables and know which item stands out so it helps to compare variables and these variables are properly analyzed for easier understanding so by the time we go into the graphical representation of these charts, these tables, this graph, the main, the mode, the standard deviation, you will see how they are interpreted. The next one is, it makes it easier and faster to make decision. If I tell you that Mr. B imported five products and this is how the demand goes, and I presented it in a pie chart. I presented it in a table. And I presented it in a graphical form. If it's in a graphical form, you will see the one that was highly demanded at the upper peak. In a pie chart, you will see it represented at a higher fifth one. Values and quantities provided in the question or statement are better understood. The values. The quantities provided in the statement are better understood. If I tell you that it is the product is, let's say we have four agro products. We have rice, beans, gari, yam. And then I represent it. I will tell you the value that was uh, needed and the quantity that was consumed. There, these two values now are just there. You can just look at them and know. This is the value that was supplied. This is the quantity that was bought. So it's help um, to understand the statement, the data that have been presented before you. And you can relate to what you want and what you don't want. You can relate to what is giving you more profit or what is not giving you more profit. You can relate to what you are supposed to choose from or what you are not supposed to choose from. You can relate from these and analyze the, the previous years, comparing it to the coming year, and see the relationship you can bring in. It assists in the orderly arrangement of data. If you arrange data in a tabular form, if you arrange data in a bar chart, a pie chart, a histogram, you see that they are more presented in a more logical way, in a more mathematical way, in a way that it aids for understanding. So when it is presented in that way, it aids understanding. It is neater. It is easier to glance through. It is better for people to look at it that way because it brings in accuracy of work. These are the uses or importance of basic economic um, tools. Next, we will talk about, in our next class, we are going to talk about these tools. We will pick them one at a time. The graph, the table, the charts, the main, the mode. We will take them sequentially as we go further in the class. Thank you for being part of our class today.